when one of my favorite parts of I don't remember which series it was, whether it's Maps of Meaning or Personality, when when Peterson asked the question, "What is a car?" Is the car a way to get to the supermarket? Is the car a way to change the atmosphere of the planet? Is a car a way to redesign the cities of the world? Automo automobiles get you from point A to point B. You might say, well, that's their fundamental purpose. That's what they were designed to do. But I could say, well, no, it turns out that their fundamental consequence, if not purpose, is the complete transformation of cities, the demolition of the rural communities, and the destruction of the atmosphere. It's like, oh, we left something out. Yeah, you left something out. The system, when, before the, if you think about before the Protestant Reformation, the Protestant Reformation comes right on the heels of the Columbian exchange. What is the Columbian exchange? It's when Columbus finds, you know, he's making his way to China and boop, oh, <laughs> there's a big thing in the way called North and South America. And that changes the world. And on the heels of that, the world has changed dramatically in the last 500 years in ways that could not have been anticipated in the thousands of years of civilization before that. The question of what a car is, is not incidental to the question of Christianity. In a sense, saying that it is, is a very Protestant thing. Although Protestants sort of run the gamut because the Amish say, no, it's very, you know, they understand what cars are and they're not going there. Um, other Protestants are way at the other end to say, but as long as I have my personal relationship with Jesus, I can use a car. But the car has to be integrated. Now, maybe the car is going to go away. We don't know. But so much stuff has been kicked up in the last 500 years that it's going to have to be integrated. But We've only had the car for a hundred years and we're probably still not adequately coming to terms with it. And that's opposed to civilizations that were running at a far slower clock speed. I mean, with the fall of Rome, well, now well, the fall, Rome only fell in the West. Well, then you have the monasteries and then you have the hierarchy. And I mean, all of that took a long time, but the, the changes in technology happened very slowly. So now we have the internet. Car, we haven't been able to integrate the car. We probably haven't really been able to integrate the printing press. Now we have the internet. So, you know, I think part of what I think the Protestant Protestants are about is an attempt to integrate. Protestantism is sort of this experimental workshop out on the fringe. And I think to a degree, the Orthodox and the Catholic just watch and they let the Protestants die so they don't have to. Um, <laughs> just like ideas, you know? <laughs> well, that's one way not to do church. Who well, don't do it that, that way. Better not do it that way. <laughs> so okay. I... Well, what comes up to me when you say that is um, how they talk about people higher in openness have to live a more high risk, high reward lifestyle. Stories. It's like, what happens if we get 100 people to do that and they all observe the, the outcome and then they all tell a story about it and then we take what's common across the stories. It's like, oh, well, that's interesting. We get a new way of describing things. Well, is that true? Well, that, then you get back into the problem of what constitutes truth. Is it useful? That We also don't know that because we don't have the time frame across which to analyze it yet. Like we're staking our survival on the presupposition that it's useful. But it's like, there wouldn't be constant bouts of apocalyptic thinking if we didn't have our doubts about it. 
right? And it's certainly an anomaly in the natural world. Well, no, one, no other creature has science. It's like they did perfectly well without it. Maybe science is fatal. I mean, it could easily be fatal. So, you know, and, and, and someone who's a scientist in that sort of ideological sense would say, well, even if it's fatal, it was still true. It's like, well, it depends on how you define truth.